Howdy guys, this is Bo again. We're doing another tutorial on how to do things in Skyrim. In this case, it is how to get to 100 Alchemy. And uh, if I'm now in Dawnstar, and what we're going to do is I'm just showing you again where the Dawnstar chest is, in case you uh, don't know. Of course, I guess my guy's just like, bro, seriously, chilling out, loving the sight of these snowberries. But really what it is is... More than likely a nose-picking scenario, but it's okay. All right, so here we are. We go to the uh, rocks over here on the left, and then crouch, and then, hey, bam, you got a chest. Now, you're not going to go here for a lot of reagents or anything, but you are going to go here and get a whole bunch of just stuff to sell. Because uh, we're trying to finance. We've got to finance the alchemy a bit. So you need some dough. That's how you get some dough. Now let's go to our Alcardiers. Alcardiers. Arcadius Cauldron. There it goes. What you can do is, if, since you're really low in levels, just go ahead and train. And then what we do is something sneaky. You go and pickpocket the money back from her. Uh, may not work the first time, so just make sure to quick save and then reload. And then try again. And then, but that there's the cash. Plus, you get a little boost for the pickpocket, which, you know, it's always nice to get more than one skill at a time. Now, you take the money after you've gone through and maxed out your skill as far as buying it. And just go ahead and start buying ingredients. Now we're going to do the same vendor trick we always do, which is we're going to buy all the ingredients we possibly can. We're going to sell whatever we can. And then we're going to quick save, kill the vendor, reload, and then she will have more opportunity or more items on her. Yeah, so that's, that's the general gist of it is keep buying like ingredients until you run out of money. Uh, if you can, I mean, if you want to go crazy, but I usually just go until I run out of stuff to sell. Then you go hit the alchemy desk. Now this, I gotta be honest, is going to take you a while because you have to literally go through and discover the formulas. Plus, you also have to do some clicking it. But I think after a while, you guys will get the hang of it. Uh, I would suggest, I mean, right now, initially, you have to do this to kind of just get the formulas. But if you want to do it super fast and easy and not dink around with, like, fails or too many clicks, uh, you can go to any of the potions that are over there on the left that are already pre-made-ish, and uh, you just hit those because it's only two apiece. So as you see, I mean, this is sped up 2,500%. Uh, this whole process from, I guess, when we started at what, 27 or so, 27 to 100 took somewhere in the range of about three, three and a half hours. That's because you have to go through and you have to sell all the old crap that you already got. You have to go back, maybe replenish money, and it just takes a little bit of time. But after a while, after about levels, like levels like 60-ish, when the intensity of your spell, or your potion starts getting higher and higher, you will start seeing that money becomes almost a non-issue at that point because you can take very, very cheap ingredients and turn them into profit so at, at after around around 55 60 you start being much more money in than out which is kind of nice uh, it, it eliminates the whole fact of having to go back to dawnstar to get items to sell or having to work on it but this will become a huge money maker at some point in your career if you really need cash the best part about this game is you just walk into an alchemy shop, take all their ingredients, build into potions, and then sell those potions, and you'll basically max out on any money you need to get. Uh, at this point, I mean, it, it's eight, the, the 80 to 90 is okay, but the 90 to 100 grind, oh my. <laughs> you need to do a lot of potions, but it's totally doable. And I did this just in a night. I mean, just sat down three, three and a half hours. And was done. I was just chilling, listening to audiobooks while I was while I was doing it. Uh, but the uh, results of doing all this work were wow, really, really good. Now, I've been having this issue. I've always had this drawing issue of wanting to do the hundred alchemy, since a lot of people always give me comments of like, "Bro, I mean, I I do way better potions than you could ever do." So I figured we'd give it a shot. So here we are. We have to build like 100 damn potions to get up to 100, but guess what? Who cares? Here it is. <laughs> Almost 100. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. 100. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, at least I got to discover. Whoop, shit. Just in time 
the enhan the in the fortify enchanting just in time for hitting a hundred. And come on. There it is, right there. So we're gonna go through and show you the effects of what you do when you have a hundred alchemy. You can build like this is the usual loop that happens, okay? You can build fortify enchanting pots, and then you pop the pot, you then enchant a set of gear, as I'll show you right here, a set of gear with Fortify Alchemy. Okay, so then you take the Fortify Alchemy stuff, you equip that, you then go build another Fortify Enchanting Pot, because now you have much, like, harder, much har heavier, and then you just keep doing that over and over and over, and I found that the max you can possibly get is 30% more powerful. And I don't know why. Uh, in the case of, like, smithing gear and alchemy gear, 30% is the best you can get. I think it must be a hard cap or something, but uh, I just wanted to show you guys really quick what the effect of a 30% boosted potion is, if you're just looking around at, at, like, just general stuff. So here it is. As you can see here, look at all that fortify alchemy. That's that's a lot. That's, that's a lot. That's the most you can possibly get. I don't know why I'm in combat. That, that confused the hell of me. But anyway, let's get back to it. Come on, buddy. Hit it. All right, here we go. So I don't think I have a lot of the mats for the fortify stuff, but just look at these things, right? I mean, just two small $2 ingredients give you $704. It, 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 $5 for that, 2 bucks for the, like, 15 and it is $1,000. You see that? So if you want money and you want to have an intense amount of pain, you can do that. Oh, the plus 168% applies to Fortify Smithing. And then the best you can do for Fortify like Enchanting is plus 42%. But plus 42% is pretty damn burly already. But the Smithing, I mean, the, the here, check this out. This is the effect of the Smithing. When you get a plus 30 set plus the 168 improvement to Smithing, there are some things that will happen to you. Uh, you you're going to get just, yeah. So, I mean, I just have a bunch of crap gear that I enchanted. But, uh, uh, oh, yeah, here it is. Here's what the effect of. Look at that. Plus 168%. And then plus 42. That's the best you can possibly get in this game. I've tried everything I can to get higher, but that is the highest you can get. This is with 100 smithing, 100 enchanting, 100 alchemy. That's it. But now here's the effect. Look at this. You guys will literally shit your pants, I think. But if you don't, you know, it's okay. If you d I did nothing else in this game. Only did smithing, enchanting, and alchemy. And look at that. 1,016 damage with a 24 absorb and 38. That is my armor. It's way past. The armor cap is 567. I'm already at 737. And the thing is, all of my skills are not there. And look at that. 96% magic resist. Uh, so I, I implore you guys, if you're wanting to do this, uh, do it. Like, comment, subscribe, favorite, and all that. Thanks again, guys. So until the next time, guys, hey, this is Bo, and thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.